Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. What are farmers doing to feed the planet? They're using Quadtrek technology, soil management, and planting systems from Case IH to foster a better growing environment that maximizes yield potential. Visit CaseIH.com to be ready. Now is the time for the final check of your planter's performance. I'll show you what I mean in today's Iron Talk. We've been pretty dry on our farm. Bone dry is more like it. We've gotten some moisture, four inches over the last seven months, counting all the snow from this winter. So basically, we're planting into some pretty dry soils again. So how should you be running the planter, and how can you get an indication that adjustments were made properly? I like to watch as the crop emerges. The best farmers in the country shoot to have every plant in the field up in the same 24-hour period. The key this year in the dry soil has been to have a consistent planting depth, and maybe even more importantly, good seed to soil contact. When the soil is loose and fluffy, it's tough to keep seed to soil contact ideal. On our farm, you can see differences in certain soil types and it's almost impossible to completely avoid it since there are almost always at least three or four soil types across every field. Closing the furrow and packing it again made a big difference for us this year and it's something to watch for on your farm too. Make a point to scout and investigate emergent successes and failures on your farm with each crop and make the necessary adjustments. Seed to soil contact is always important, but in dry soils this year on our farm, it was even more critical than normal. You may be fighting the opposite conditions on your farm this spring. Scouting and making the proper adjustments to your seeding equipment is equally important to you. Be diligent. That's all time for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.